Now this is their extended performance oil filter. In fact, it's rated up to 20,000 miles. And we did look at some filters in the past that went over the limit. We did K&N, Purolator, we looked at Fram Extra Guard, and a very inexpensive oil filter, which I'll talk about in a moment. And all of those filters were over the, the recommended interval. So this is the first filter that's under the interval, but at 15,000 miles, I think we can at least get a pretty good idea what's going on here. Now this was removed from a 2003 Honda Accord. We used the Mobile One fully synthetic motor oil. On the Honda, they recommend to change the oil every 12,000 miles. So this went over that limit. But nonetheless, let's see what we have here. Now, I'm going to present this as if you don't you're sort of new to this. You don't know the construction, what all of these different parts do. So let's just jump right into it. This is your media right here. This is a fully synthetic media. Now what that means is fully synthetic gives you very, very high efficiency ratings. In this case, 99.9% .9 efficiency rating. And it gives you the longevity. So to compare Mobile One, you would also look at uh, Napa Platinum, Purolator Boss, uh, Wix XP, and Soil Royal Purple. There's a number of them, but you're paying more. This on its own is a $15 filter if you did not package this with any motor oil. So it's on the high end, but this is what you're paying for. So you have a very, very high efficiency rating. And take a look at the media. It is not falling apart. It's not starting to squeeze in and collapse on itself. What I mean by that is take a look at this video shot. This is a cheap oil filter. It's a really a no-name oil filter that they use at these quick lube places. And after 3,000 miles, this thing was starting to degrade. And if you had this filter on a modern vehicle, it can really be quite catastrophic. So this is why you want to pay a little bit more for a high quality oil filter. So the media, media here is still in very nice shape. And take a look at the construction. Metal end caps and a metal center tube. Some filters have nylon cores. Some filters don't use metal end caps. They use a fiberboard end cap. So it's nice to see that you're getting the quality. Now take a look at this guy on the opposite end. This is a bypass valve. And as you can see, it's not seized. It's still working after 15,000 miles. The whole point behind this valve is if the media becomes clogged, this little valve opens up. And unfiltered oil would at least get back into the engine, would not starve the engine of motor oil. It's a safety feature. And as you can see, it's still working quite well. Again, it's not seized up. This guy back here is the anti-drain back valve. Whole point behind this valve is when you shut off the engine, it retains the oil inside the filter. So the next time you start your vehicle, you don't have a dry start. Now on your lower costing filters, again, take a look at this video shot. You find nitrile rubber on your lower costing filters. On your higher end filters, they use silicone. Silicone has, uh, can just withstand lower and higher temperatures a lot better than nitrile rubber. And as you can see, I'm trying to rip it and it's not ripping. You cannot rip this after 15,000 miles. So again, this is what you're paying for. This is why you, you want to run really good filters in your vehicle. It's worth every dime. And then on the base plate, you have your gasket. And this is something I, I typically mention. Make sure when you remove the filter, it goes without saying, but some, you know, life is crazy, you're in a rush, and some people overlook it. Make sure that the the uh, gasket is still attached to the filter. It's not attached to the engine block. Because if you did not realize that the, that the gasket is not here, when you install the new filter, you will have an oil leak. So the nice thing you find on these high-end filters is it's incredibly glued on to the base plate. Some cheap filters, you can peel this off very, very easily. Here, really nice, high quality. There's no burrs. It's not scratched up. It's not burned really nice shape and then of course the canister very very strong canister from mobile one i measured these in the past in other videos but very very strong this is on par with pure leader boss and canine also very very strong canisters and that's you know if you're racing 
off-roading, puncture rates, that sort of thing. Now, one thing also to mention, sometimes I get asked, is this wire-backed? This is not a wire-backed filter. And what that means is if you're familiar with uh, the air filter for your furnace, if you have a furnace, <clears throat> they are wire-backed. And the whole point by that, behind that is to keep the rigidity and the shape of the filter. This is not wire-backed. Wire back, you would have to go Wix XP, M, Soil Royal Purple, uh, Napa Platinum. There's a, there's a couple of them, but nonetheless, you can see that it's just built incredibly, incredibly well. And very often, I get asked, you know, which filter would you recommend? And after open, opening a number of these filters, as you can see, I have a whole box full of them. The way I feel is, uh, you know, there are some filters that you really want to avoid, in my opinion unless you're changing your oil every 3,000 miles. You have an older car and you're changing the oil very, very often, that's one thing. But on these modern vehicles, go with your higher end oil filters. Mobile One, Wix XP, Amps, Oil Royal Purple, uh, Napa Platinum. You know, go with the high end oil filters. I wouldn't say recommend one per se, just go with a high quality oil filter.